If you like World War II, Battlefield V, or the Jonas Brothers, then the Midway movie is for you. The Midway movie is about the Battle of Midway, which took place between June 4th and June 7th, 1942. This was six months after the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor and one month after the Battle of the Coral Sea. The Battle of Midway was very, very important because the Japanese, they were hoping to get rid of America as a power in the Pacific. But America, they ended up defeating Japan, and so they were victorious. I took all of my notes on my movie tickets during the movie. I had my little pen and I was trying to write in the dark and I couldn't see anything. So it literally looks like gibberish to most people, but it makes sense to me. In the audience, I made sure to take a look around. There were mostly older people, probably over the age of 50, so I was definitely one of the younger ones. And there was this really funny old guy behind me. His wife had like a blanket on her, she was so cute. But the guy, right before the movie started, he was like, I really hope they turn the volume down! And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I started laughing. I don't know if he knew I was laughing at him, but I just couldn't help it. Before watching this movie, I did not read any reviews whatsoever. I didn't want anything to influence me. All I did was I looked up the history of the Battle of Midway so that I kind of had some background first so I would understand the movie better. But I really didn't have to do much research. When I was watching the movie, they already gave you some historical background. They had blurbs on the screen. They told you what time it was, what day it was, where this battle was taking place. I got to see Pearl Harbor happen in the movie. I got to see the Battle of the Coral Sea and the Battle of Midway itself. These were real people, real events. It was really, really realistic in my eyes, but again, I'm a layman's person, so I have no idea what the real thing would have looked like. If I could compare this movie to anything, it was totally like watching someone play Battlefield V. I mean, my mouth was literally like, while I was watching these dive bombers, it was just crazy, nuts, intense. The aerobatics that these planes had, my gosh. I just can't even imagine being a pilot, flying through the air with bullets and bombs everywhere. That's just craziness. And it's like your life is on the line at every single second. I don't know how I could live through that. There was actually one part in the movie where I felt like I wanted to cry. It was when Nick Jonas, who played Bruno, when he was captured by the Japanese and they were starting to interrogate him. And so he asked for a cigarette and he wouldn't respond to the Japanese. And so he just chose to, to die and to go overboard and drown. That was just so moving to me because I can't even imagine having to make that type of sacrifice. At times I felt like there may have been too many characters to keep up with in the movie. I would kind of get confused as to who was who because they all kind of looked similar to each other. Mandy Moore was also in the film. I loved seeing her in her 1940s housewife mode. That was kind of my favorite thing. So this movie definitely has some things for women in it. I must be honest and say that the actors in the movie were definitely very good looking. At the end of the movie, it was really cool because they showed the characters in the movie and then they showed who they actually played in real life. And so it really brought things into perspective and made it seem extremely real. I really liked that special touch. If you want a really straightforward, action-packed war movie, then the Midway movie is definitely for you. I personally give it two thumbs up. It kept me on the edge of my seat the entire time. During this Veterans Day week, I think this is a really great movie to see because it truly made me appreciate our veterans and see a little glimpse into what they went through. My heart truly goes out to all of the veterans who have fought for this country. I am so, so thankful for what they have done. I really hope you enjoyed my movie review video today. Please like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, be free.